scriptures. Cool. How to burhanakum? In kuntum sorikin. You should bring your proofs if you are truthful. Yeah, Sheikh, in our today's video, I want us to discuss a topic. Though we've been on that for so long, but today I want us to go deep into it. Which is some Christians who say that Jesus, Prophet Isa is the son of God or he, or he is God. Is it true that he is really the son of God or he is not, according to the Bible first? Alhamdulillah for this question. These questions have been in the minds of the Christians and that is what they think all the time. And the problem is, those the Christians, they claim that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he is God, one. They claim that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he is the begotten son of God, as well as the son of God. Point number one, when you see that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he is the son of God. I won't argue with you. Why? Because, yeah. Okay. Bring your scriptures. Cool. How to burhanakum in kuntum sorry king. You should bring your proofs if you are truthful. And we Muslims, we must read their scripture to show them the truth. Okay. And when we take a look and read those Christians, their scriptures, it tell us that according to their Bible, even not only Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was the only son of God. Okay. But there were different other prophets in the Bible and they were called a son of God. Okay. If you read the book of Romans, chapter number 8, verse number 14, mm. it tells us that all those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. Because according to the Bible, Abraham was the son of God, Allah. Abraham was the son of God, Allah. Israel was the son of God. Mm. All those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. Which means anybody who follows the scripture, obeys the scripture, obedient to their Lord, is a son of God. Yes. Which means if I'm if I'm a Christian and I obey my Lord, I'm a son of God. Yeah.